George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in a scrape, he makes his escape with the help of his friend. An ape named Ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. Yes, there he is, the king of the jungle. And there's nothing George likes more than saving his subjects. Me save you, big pretty kitty! Yes, George loves helping his animals. It's only 10 a.m. and George already helped a zebra find her stripes. Plucked a baby ape to safety. And helped a sad hyena laugh again. Nice work, George. <laughs> but does it seem odd how many rescues we've performed today? No. Me love rescues. Must stop Sloth dance battle. Sloth, wait. You know dance fight. You dance friend. Watch me show you. Friend, 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 friend. Another one? Ow! 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 Uh, uh, you welcome, baby monkey. Wait a second. George just rescued you from the river. Uh, that was my twin. Yeah, come on, let me go, bub. You got wrinkles and tattoos. What's going on uh, here? Name's Mildred, performer with Jungle Theater. Okay, gang, the game's up. Take your bow. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> me not know why bees sting me for real, but me love it. And see. Actors never work for free. Someone put them up to this. Someone who wanted to keep you busy. But who? Mm -hmm. Where did you get that? It fall out of baby ape's pocket. The ape council is behind this. It's ludicrous! Preposterous! Mystery solved! High five! Mystery not solved! I want answers, and I'm not stopping until... Fine! It was us! Look, the queen of the desert is due to arrive any day now. This being the year of the sacred jungle beach party! Every three years, the eight clans gather and conduct time-honored beach rituals. The construction of the sandcastle, the beach blanket boogie, and of course, the sacred volleyball tournament and weenie roast. But without a sand shipment from the queen of the desert, you can't make a beach. And no beach equals no beach party. We need that sand or all this awesome stuff we mail ordered is for naught. Not. So? So we always negotiate with the Queen of the Desert for her sand. So? We've seen George's negotiation skills. It's true. No deal. Okay, okay, me give you everything. Me say no deal. George is the only person in history to have negotiated with themselves and lost. There's a new queen of the desert, so this is our chance to get our sand without giving up too many bananas. Bananas! We're putting a temporary king of the jungle in George's place until negotiations are over. What? Chicken butt. All hail the new king! Ursula? Me new king? No, not her! All hail the new King Log! <gasps> we can't sit around and let a log take your place. George, what are you doing? Writing letter to Log. Say, hello. <laughs> you seem like nice fellow. One, that's not a pen. And two, that's not paper. 
It's a turtle. And three, you have to prove you're the better king before the queen of the desert gets here, or the council will never reinstate you. You right, eh? Two orders of business. One, you've got a letter. Second, there are two warring tribes of lemurs across the jungle. You need to negotiate a peace settlement. George, get there first and save day. <laughs> Easy. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> 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 a terrible ape. Lemurs so mean to George. <laughs> Because of Mug! <laughs> George, not good king. And George always cry at weddings. <laughs> you are a good king, George. We just need to show the council that. In honor of the log bringing peace to the warring lemurs, an honorary lunch buffet! This is George's chance to show how good king he really is by eating like king. Remember, a real king shows patience and restraint. George? Oh, George! <laughs> Eat! Everything! Oh, George, sleep! Everything! <laughs> George! You ruined the buffet! That's terrible! Look, the log didn't eat a thing! It wants us to have its food! <laughs> But it's a log. <laughs> Welcome to the Caramel Council. Colonel Osiris, Lady Hecate, and Alice, the camel of many hearts. When shall we meet your new queen? In good time. Until then, we are eager to see the ritual dance performed by your new king. <laughs> This new king's dance is a little lackluster. George, this is your last chance to show them you're a better king than a log. No way log dance better than George. George got sweet moves. Hit it, monkey bear. <laughs> Show everyone he could king. It's okay, George. I still believe in you. Our new queen arrives. Ooh. She's pretty. That's the new queen. The sun sets. Let the negotiations begin. <laughs> It's been hours, and the log hasn't said anything. But neither has the new queen. Wait, what's this? The log is definitely winning. Because, well, it's a log. Hmm, Camel Council called. George put wood on sacred fire. George, that's the log. <gasps> Meatburn King! <laughs> ah! Meatburn Queen! Oh. George, you smashed them into a termite mound! Ah! <gasps> oh no! I saved her! I saved her! <laughs> we are outraged and demand you surrender the entire jungle to us. Oh, no, Alice! Who be you? Me, Neferata, real queen of desert. Me, George, real king of jungle. 
But why you no do negotiations? Council tell Neferata she too smart for negotiations. Oh dear. Okay. What fastest animal in jungle? Cheeto or Zell? Ah! With jetpack or without? Whoa! You smart! Me test you! What Neferata's favorite ice cream? Um, uh, chocolate? It is? We never have ice cream before. You smart! <laughs> it okay, everybody. We both smart. Negotiations begin again. Ooh. Me like George. He have good heart. George like Neferata. Me give you whole jungle. <gasps> okay, then me give you whole desert. <gasps> Ah, why didn't we just call it even, okay? Good job, King of the Jungle. I knew you were the right king for the job, George. George? <laughs> Uh, I can't move. George stuck too. No worry. Tide come in. Wash us free. Hooray! The jungle has many seasons. This, for example, is the hot season. You can tell because the hippos are melting. And this, as you may have guessed, is the rainy season. Followed, of course, by shark season, which is itself followed by clean season. And then flying mud ball season, which is the harbinger of the worst season of all, fire nado season. Or, as George so quaintly calls it, Months later. Here, Birdie Bird. I just want to give you kisses with the inside of my mouth. Here, Magnolia, Olia. Ursula just want to eat you. What? George, we need food and we need it fast. <laughs> okay, George, go for snacks. George, just say we eat George. Uh, no. George say. That very nice, George. <laughs> you know what to eat, George. <laughs> One George not be enough for everyone anyway. Stay here where it's safe. George gets snacks. But it's too dangerous out there. It's too dangerous in here. Back zippy flash. George, watch out for the <laughs> fire needle. <sighs> huh? Where is George? Wow! Well, this is delicate. How does a narrator break the news to his main character that he's, well... Just spit it out already. Down here, kiddo. In the puddle. Ah! Rolly and I! Rolly and I! Name's Lumpy Joe, actually. And I'm here to show you down Fine Halla, the heavenly home of the greatest kings and queens the jungle has ever known. No kidding, right? These are all the kings and queens who came before you, buddy. Queen Rubberarm's the throwiest. Ain't nobody throw an angry monkey further than her. Like two miles, whoosh! <laughs> King Vegas, the stylish. Hair that could stop a charging rhino in its tracks, and did. King Bodang Slammer, the strongest. He moved a river to save his jungle when everyone was all thirsty. 
and then moved it back real fast to save him from drowning. Queen Ice Vane's the bravest. She tamed the jungle while wearing a dress made of raw pork chops. King Turfburner, the fastest. He raced lightning and won. See, he just went to France and back. And I'm King Lumpy Joe, the very first king of the jungle. Come on up and take your rightful place among the greats, Georgie boy. George, very honored. He always try hard to be good king of jungle. So, what's your story? Tell us, and we'll carve it up on these pillars here for eternity and stuff. Well, friend's very hungry, so George go for snacks and step into Fire Nato. <laughs> Ouch. <gasps> king George who went for snacks and got burned to a crisp? Yep. <laughs> Get back to the living. And don't come back till you've done something great, you no-good bum. Now? For the tenth time, no. We're not eating him. Rats! Hey, George, go to Crazy Vine Hollow Place with other kings and queens. They tell George he not great king. They say his bum no good. <laughs> What? George, you're a fine king. Remember when you rescued Dennis? Who else would give a skunk mouth to mouth? And what about that time you saved Jerry? Who else is strong enough to give a giraffe the Heimlich? <laughs> Only the great ape knows how he accidentally swallowed Dennis. And you rescued everyone here from the fire nado. And right now you're protecting me from this hungry mob, right? Nobody eat Magnolia. That's not okay. George Wright. She too stringy. See, you're a great king. At least that's what we'd say if we weren't going to starve. No worry, no worry. George has idea. He get food and prove he great king to Vinehala. Just need to be brave like Queen Ice Veins. Queen who? George, wait! <laughs> For first time, George smelled good. You gotta do something great, not stupid! <laughs> huh? I told them they could eat your legs, but they had to stop at your knees. Hmm. Braveness not enough to be great, King. This time, George, be brave and run fast like King Turfburner. Cats have nine lives, but I'm afraid George might be pushing it. Ursula, afraid he get too dry and chewy. Problem obvious. Need to be brave and fast and have great hair like King Vegas. George, hairspray and fire don't. George, stop this madness. You'll never make it through the Fire Nado alive. Ape, right. George must put out Fire Nado. And everyone have snacks, and George will be great king. So, George, be strong, like King Bodang Slammer. George, you can't wrestle fire. <laughs> <laughs> Ursula, like hers, medium rare! Go away, fire nato! Keep this up and you'll wind up where all the bad jungle kings and queens go. No, George don't want to go to find Hella. Ah! George, stop! Your brain's been overcooked! <gasps> Fighting a fire nader with your bare hands isn't a sound strategy! Ape right! Fighting is bad! George will eat fire nado! George, 
I don't know where you're getting all these terrible ideas, but stop. You're not being yourself. Cape right. So, what would George do? Instead of fighting, George make friends with Fire Nato. George would be kind-hearted enough to befriend a fire nado. Then again, there isn't much left to burn. It's amazing. Aw, he's even taking Bernie canoeing. Bernie, you smell something? Congratulations, Georgie boy. You finally pulled off a feat worthy of a place in fine hallow. You will be known forever as King George the Trickiest. Trickiest? But George not tricky. Pretending to be friends with a fire nato so you can lure it into the river. What's sneakier than that? But George really is best fire friend with Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> what next? Card night with the wind? Bowling with the air? <laughs> <laughs> no listen to them, Bernie. George always be friends. You want to try on Green Hat? Who let that fire in here? So somebody put that thing out! No good bum! George, you're alive! <sighs> we were so worried. Maybe George not strongest, smartest, bestest, or even have best hairdo, but he promised to be king of jungle with biggest heart. Already accomplished, my friend. Me coming, Jerry! Oh. Oh, oh. Me coming, Dennis!